Good morning. It is Friday morning, October 18th, and it's time for Morning Mercies with Pastor Big Al. I'm Pastor Big Al, and I have my Bible with me this morning. I do have a cup of coffee. It's in my Jerusalem cup, reminding us to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Uh, this morning, I have a an awesome uh, verse of scripture I want to share with you. It comes from the book of Ezra. The people of Israel have made their way back to the promised land and they've rebuilt the altar. They've rebuilt the altar. We pick up reading Ezra chapter 3. In Ezra chapter 3, verse 10, it says, And when the builders laid the foundation of the temple of the Lord, the priests in their vestments came forward and trumpets and Levites, the sons of Asaph, with the symbols to praise the Lord according to the direction of David, king of Israel. And they sang responsively, uh, praising and giving thanks to the Lord. For he is good, for steadfast love endures forever toward Israel. And all the people shouted with great shout when they praised the Lord, because the foundation of the house of the Lord was laid. Now verse 12. But many of the priests and Levites and heads of fathers' houses, old men who had seen the first house, wept with a loud voice, when they saw the foundation of this house being laid, though many shouted aloud for joy, so that the people could not distinguish between the sound of the joyful shout from the sound of the people's weeping. For the people shouted with great shout, and the sound was heard far away. I look at this verse of scripture and I realize that that there is a, a situation where they've, they've built an altar and now they're laying the foundation of this, of this rebuilding of the temple. And there are people that are so excited and they're rejoicing because of the great things that God is doing for them. And then on the other side, there is a group of people who remember what it was like. They remember what it was like at the old temple. And they begin to weep. And so you have this sound of, of those who are glad and rejoicing and those who are sad and, and weeping so that you could not distinguish between the, between the two. And I wonder if that's the same with our journey that we are on with God. That there will become times on this journey with God that, that we'll, we'll remember you know, what our life used to be like. And it might bring sorrow. But then there's also those moments where we will just be so excited about the transformation and the change and the new thing that God is doing in our life. And so there's an interesting balance. The balance between rejoicing in what God is doing and remembering where we came from, remembering our past. Some for us to think about on this Friday. Let me have a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks today for your goodness, your mercies that are new every morning. And Lord, we know that you have brought us through many things. And maybe there are things in, in our past that we remember and we're filled with, with sorrow and sadness. But help us to rejoice and and get excited about what you're doing now in our hearts and in our life and in our church. I pray, Lord, that you would guide us in truth today. May your will be done and kingdom come. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do pray y'all have a blessed and amazing day.